You are welcome to MJA Integrated Farms. Um, MJ Integrated Farms is an um, agricultural outfit. We farm, we process, and then we are into hospitality. Um, the premises here, we have, our, we have about six hectares of crops, cassava, maize, and um, beans. But um, this is one of our farms. We have um, various hectares in, located in very other uh, locations. But here again, we have the factory. We have our Gary processing factory. We have um, the animal farm. We have the piggery. We have the poultry where we, were, we are being innovative. We are doing a cross between the local breeds, the local chicken and the noelas to see how we can get the best fit um, uh, chicken for consumption. Of course, there's been a lot of outcry against the, they call it agri-chicken. They want the local chicken. So we were trying to raise organic birds here, local organic chickens here for, for the market. We are targeting to hit like um, from 5,000 birds to 10,000 birds in two years of the local chicken and um, so far our experimenting process has been quite encouraging. We are working on landscaping here. We are coming with the agro-tourism when we, where we have a farm resort, we have the, the we have accommodation, top class level of accommodation. We have um, a hall where the seminars and conferences, symposiums can be held. We and then we, where we can, where you can actually come to have um, various kinds of events. When you want to be in tune with nature, we are, we are in the process of starting it. We are hoping that in the next three years, which should be fully functional. But for the factory here, we have a big capacity. Gary processing factory. Um, it's a process, you know, in the cassava value chain. Of course, we have the farm here. Like I said, we have about three hectares dedicated to cassava here. In our nearby farm, we have about 10 hectares dedicated to cassava. Somewhere in Asa three here. And then we have about another 10 hectares scattered in other locations. Um, we grow the cassava, we process gari. Um, the gari comes in, uh, is in, a, in, a, in a chain of processes, you know. We, where we harvest, we take it to the peeling bay. The peeling bay is down there under the trees, yeah, where they offload. People peel by hand. And then when they peel, they come to the washing bay here. They wash the, uh, the cassava clean and then after that they come to to the bay, the to the machines where the machines now the haulers will 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 grate the, the cassava into pulps and then of course the cassava after them will be bagged and then taken to the hydraulic press where of course after from the to, from the hauler we now begin to process the gari. Sometimes some people want it very sour, so we carry it to the platform here where we keep it for it to be to sour. Some people will keep it for three days, some for two days, some even for more, depending on the level fermentation. of fermentation they want. So after the fermentation, we the fermentation process we now take it to the hydraulic press where our people call it jack, jack where the, the hydraulic will squeeze out the moisture in it and uh, to prepare it for eventual frying. So from the hydraulic uh, press, it goes back to the hauler there where it will still pulverize it into fine uh, uh, material that can be taken to, to the frying bay. The frying bay is over there. We have about six big um, frying pans. Our people call it Agbada. 
uh, where they can they can can do so much. The people put fire under. They fry it to the to the brightful nature you want. Some people want it very fried. Depends on how you want it. So it's the whole process. From there we take to the store, and then of course the market. The buyers come. Some people process in large quantities. They take far. From here they take all the way to Nigerian Republic, and we a lot of our market is in the south south Bayelsa rivers, and the southeast. And then, of course, uh, we work with other uh, points uh, where they are fully established Gary factories, businesses like uh, Ubokolo, um, Ike, uh, Uboju, and Onyagede. We work closely with them. Some of our products are taken to those various um, uh, markets. But again, around us here at NJ Farms, yeah, we are working with the local community here so that we can set up a big Gary market. We are working hand in hand with um, other producers in the vicinity. And um, of course, we have a lot of cooperation from people in uh, Obi and Oju local governments who still come here to market some of their products. So we are hoping that by early next year, the Gary market in uh, Otupo will kick off here. When we start, of course, a lot of people will key into it. We have a huge chief community of farmers around us here who produce cassava and they come and process gari here. So we, we are looking forward to that. And then all kinds of gari, finished gari products that you hear, Ijabu gari, uh, Nyagade gari, all, we can do them here. Those are just nomenclatures. It's a process of fermentation and drying of, and frying that gives it those names. We produce for international markets too. There are people who come all the way. They sit down here, they give us their requirements, especially moisture content. They come with the moisture meter, they check. So we, we do a lot of things here. Yeah. And um, we are just um, like three years old. We have achieved so much. Um, we can process in this factory here now for we can process in two three days we can process a trailer load of gary here as simple as it looks we have a huge capacity it has provided job for a large number of the community members here when when it is cassava season of course you know our crops half season. When it's cassava season, if you come here on daily basis at the top of the cassava season, we we employ over 65 to 70 hands in the value chain of processing here. All kinds of people. Some people are washing, some people are harvesting, some people are bringing, some people are peeling, some are frying. And then it's a 24-hour process. We have light here. We have a standby generator. We have um, NEPA, JED here, provide power for us. And then we, we can walk all through. We have um, clean water from, from wells here that um, we, have, um, we, are, we have reticulated water from those pipes, from those wells to the tank process cleaned and distributed round for the various processes of um, Gary uh, production. We, the part of our challenge around here has been the availability of raw materials. Most of our farmers are still small time farmers. Um, as, um, as a CEO of um, uh, this factory here, I have been working very hard to see how I can increase the holding of our farmers. Uh, my first target is to make sure that each of them will not have less than a hectare as a holding and then um, we have to introduce superior uh, stems for them because what they are used to is the old one on all that comes out big but when you compress, when you process it's all water. 
it's just the, the dry matter is very small but i'm gradually introducing better hybrids of cassava uh, it's quite expensive but um, that is my bane that's what i think i can do for the community and then um, we are hoping that in two three years time we will be able to come up with a um, very large quantity of cassava in this neighborhood we are ag aggregating them into um, various groups um, so that um, they can understand more we are engaging um, extension workers at cost on us to talk to them about improved practices and um, we are hoping that um, by two years time we should be able to aggregate close to a thousand farmers in this axis who are into cassava value chain various level and who are doing the right thing and of course who are getting benefits from it and we believe that this is going to encourage more young people to join in the fray um, it is creating job like i said and it is reducing unemployment and of course cultism and all we're using this factory here as a point where we can dis demonstrate to young men that you can actually work on your farm and earn good living we're doing so much we are discussing with um, particularly we want to acknowledge chief george ali the chairman of the local government who has been part and parcel of our dreams here he has supported us here and he uses this outlet to reach out to a large number of people farmers um, inputs like fertilizer, like improved seedlings are all, of course, as he gets to the local government, he calls us as one of the first beneficiaries and then he uses us to reach out to other people. And then, of course, we are working, um, working hard to see how we can um, draw the attention of the state government and then international uh, research institutes like IICA, we are talking with them, we are hoping that um, they will recognize MJ farms here as one of the points where they can actually reach out to farmers and improve the cassava value chain. Uh, we are talking about cassava. We are also into other crops. Like I said, if you watch carefully behind here, we have been shelling, we have been working on, um, on corn maize. Okay? One of our friends um, graciously donated his machine to us here that we should um, use it as a point where the small time holders can come with their corn and of course shell their corns and into bags for drying and, um, and processing. So we, we are we're into that too. And then of course we are setting up, uh, we were looking at the, the cow pea business, the farm, what we call the beans, the beans. We are trying to set up a small community that will begin to talk to the people on the best practices about growing cowpea. And then, um, we, if you notice that we have been working on reticulation here, we are trying to, this year, start the dry season farming. We want to showcase how our people can actually farm benefits from, um, fruit, uh, from vegetables, okay? Like pepper, tomato, okra, we want to see, want to show to them how they can do it year round. We too, as farmers, we're doing that for our business, but we're carrying everybody along. Hi, my name is Ocha Regina. You are watching me live on Apple TV. Visit our social media platform to watch, like, share, and subscribe to Apple TV channel. Apple TV channel, my culture, my pride.